Hello everyone, my name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and this video we're gonna talk about water features and my favorite way to add water in Lumia. Okay, see you next. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, uh, this model, okay? I'm sure you recognize this is a little, little uh, garden I have done. So I just add a couple of water features just to show you my favorite way to add water. So, just very simple, I just add some water features inside SketchUp to this model okay and my favorite way is basically transform the material that you add in sketchup to water inside lumion and you have a couple of uh, quite a few choices of water inside lumion so i wanted to show you that as well so inside lumion what you do is in the tab material editor tab you basically select and you add the material you want in this case uh, waterfall okay that's what I want to add in this wall um, you can see it here from the side uh, and you have quite a few settings you can play around with okay in the inside uh, uh, the course uh, we play a bit more with this um, but uh, and this is a bit difficult sometimes but to play with the reflectivity so it really shows in the renderings okay so that's and just uh, when you're doing the rendering inside lumion you add a reflection plane to all that is what all the materials that's water add a reflection plane so that really brings the brings them out okay so for example for this part here um i'll just add some uh, some um, maybe not waterfall just some normal water okay maybe i will uh, just the board displacement thing just a bit more down wave scale just slow it down as well or smaller anyway you play with it you play with it as you want okay so the reflection planes after when you're doing your rendering it's really important to for you the client to be able to see that that's a water feature okay so we do the same here in here i'm going to do something a bit more diff a bit different if you go to the nature in the material library if you go to water you have quite a few options of water in here okay and if you ho hover with the mouth it tells you and this is basically the water with all these different settings for all these different scenarios lakes pools uh, you know whatever you want okay so a clear pool is basically what I want for here for this one and as you can see here this is uh, has this uh, little uh, fountain so what I do in this what you can do in this you can you could add as well here uh, water for example from waterfall but it's not the same um, in this case in fountains everything that is fountains or um, basically um water movement i will add as a feature as a um as an effect if you go to the effects in your library in your lumen library you have here all these types of water features okay uh this sometimes they are quite big so you have the human uh, scale so but as you can see this is huge you have the human scale to play around with, okay. But what I normally do, let me just check which one I want. I want this one maybe. And after you can scale it down, okay. Just be careful, um, go up and down just to don't, because it doesn't take in consideration the rest of the model, okay um just be careful play around with it angle of steam just go you can put a bit more flat because as you can see if i do it wide it just gets out of the model okay but it always comes with a lot of pressure so you can really put a, a little bit of pressure and foaminess down as well so it's not so artificially and it will look better in the rendering okay 
but I just wanted to show you that. That's pretty cool. What you need to do after, just have in consideration that you need to change the material to reflect the movement as well, okay? So um, just have that in consideration because it needs to show a little bit that uh, the movement of, with some foam or something like this, the movement of the of the of what's happening okay of the fountain not wave height in this case it doesn't have wave anyway you can play around a little bit with it and i really like this is my favorite way of course for example you could uh, keep this and just add this water okay and it will be like this and um, yeah you i think uh, the client will understand what you're trying to do this this way is just a bit more realistic perhaps um, the problem with waterfalls and water holes as you can see here is that you really need to do a rendering from a side for example like this with the reflection plane in so you really can see the the that is a water wall okay um, but as you can see inside Lumion being transforming the water material from SketchUp to water in Lumion or being adding effects like this ones for example so you have like fountains quite a bit of fountains okay you have the streams you have the, the this is a, a favorite of mine as well this kind of uh, waterfall wallfall as well or waterfall um, and I really like these ones as well, but uh, they are a bit more, um, I'm just gonna add here to the wall to just show you guys. It has quite, as you can see, it always comes with a lot of foam and uh, I just, you know what I don't, what for me the, pr the problem here is, is because Lumion to work, um, to have an exact placement, to where, to place it exactly where you want it, or um, a meter length, you can cut it down a little bit. It's a bit, I like SketchUp to place things exactly where I want them, you, if you know what I mean, okay? Um, Lumion, I always find that it's the size. Don't forget to press shift to go more slow and the water pressure. Fominess, you can cut down on the fominess, stream randomized, so that's just randomize the streams. Angle, if you want to go instead of just vertical or horizontal, and extra colored, so that's that's pretty cool as you can see. So you have quite a lot of, uh, this will be crazy in here, you'll never put a water feature with this much water pressure in a small garden like this. But I just wanted to show you that it's possible, for example, if you're doing something bigger, a bigger garden, a park or something like that, it is possible to play around with this. Uh, with this kind of effects. I prefer in gardens to just transform, except when I'm doing like little fountains like this, to just transform the 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 material in from SketchUp to water materials, okay, inside Lumion. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you that, and as you can see, you're able to 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 do quite a few uh, things inside Sketch inside Lumion regarding water. It's not perfect yet. I think they still have some improvements to go, but definitely, and if you compare with all the other um, rendering uh, options you have on the market for gardens, this one is really special, and I think it does the work in terms of showing you water features and the uh, swimming pools is basic. It's, you know, if you have a nice, nice infinite edge swimming pool, it's really easy to show that in Lumion. So I think it does a great job for garden designers and landscape architects. See you guys in the next video. Just a quick small correction that uh, what I previously said, 
I wanted to emphasize the importance of reflection planes when you're doing your renderings, but just in still water like this here, okay? In the waterfall, you can't add reflection planes, okay? So I'm just going to quickly show you. So I just wanted to correct that quickly. So if you want to add, as you can see here, you can't add here, but you can add to the, uh, to the other reflection planes, okay? See you guys, see you next.